everyone. The crows are uh, yelling about me today. They're just kind of following me around and yelling. I wanted to show you, it's just suddenly flower season. We're very close to uh, solstice. It's the 18th and the solstice is the 20th. And just suddenly all the flowers have opened here. This one is paintbrush. There are roses everywhere. You um you can harvest the rose petals and make all sorts of things with them. They taste really good. Among other things. Um, I don't usually harvest rose petals because it's fiddly. And I'm not good with fiddly things. You can see they're just all over the place. Just opening and they don't usually last for very long. So um, I don't know how many days they'll be open for, whether I'll even have time. Out here, the chives are all flowering. <laughs> Usually, once the flowers have opened, it's too late. There's still enough energy in their stem that uh, they'll set seed, regardless of whether you uh, come out and cut them all down or not. I could cut them all down and make chive vinegar, but that's an awful lot of chive vinegar. I guess I do eat a lot of salads. You can see all up there. It's uh, just a, an overcast day outside. It feels the same temperature as uh, like room temperature. Very, very comfortable. Not a good day for doing a lot of heavy labor because the air is too moist to cool you down if you sweat. But it's a good day for walking around, looking at things. Shoot, I know this one. It starts with an A. It's, um... Good for wounds. And over here, this white is a violet, which is tasty and beautiful. Violets are one of the first plants that I ever grew, ever interacted with. Shoot, what's the name? I know it. I make a salve out of it for um, Arnica. Arnica is what it is. Hi, Pigolets. You'll notice that the, um, oh, let's go around this way. Pigs completely destroyed their A frame there. I don't even know how many screws they had to bust. To do that, but the screws will all be like the heads will be busted right off the screws. So that's just toast. Used to look like that. <laughs> Hi, Piglets, you're being very cute. Oh, hi, friendly pig. 
That little one is the little friendly pig. Okay, let's see if I can sit down somewhere. Oh, no. No. You are not friendly for pigs. It's pretty hard to say no to that, though. Luckily, my hand is full of rhubarb. Maybe you guys should go play, and I'll just observe these piglets. Oh, the one in the front is the friendly one who likes belly rubs. Oh wow, that's amazing up there actually. Um, there's an extremely deep hole. And uh, I don't know what she's doing. Let's, uh, let's set this down. It's rhubarb. It'll be safe, right? No one's going to eat the rhubarb. <laughs> okay, let's go see what's up with those holes. Okay. Hello, lots of pigs. There's a new boar. Hi, new boar. Blondie. Are you going to be named Blondie? Is the other new boar? This is round pig. <sighs> hey, no. Oh, you're cute. Oh, this is the hooligan. Hey, no, none of that. Ah, my goodness. So you can see there's like quite a deep hole here. And it's, um, there are two interesting things about this deep hole for me. One is that uh, their wallow must be a little too dry. I didn't think it was that warm yesterday, but they like, whoa, whoa. Round pig. Are you going to have babies round pig? Or are you just going to be like really annoying? Anyhow, a uh, big hole. You can see that pig could easily fit in that hole. And, um, that means that they were probably digging to find a, a cool spot. They were too warm and there wasn't enough mud to cool them down. So they dug themselves in there. The other interesting part of this is that this soil is very sandy. It's very sandy. Um, and my soil is clay. Like down here uh, in my garden, uh, you can just see the bit of my greenhouse there. That's clay soil and uh, most of the pig pen is clay soil. Uh, so it's really interesting to find this brown sand. Now I do know that this used to be a riding ring. Um, and I don't know, maybe they brought in some sand to flatten it. To, to ride in it up here. Let's see, is this hole? Oh, that's um, it's got sand in it and a, and a little bit of clay. Just a little bit, it's pretty dry, so it's hard to feel the clay. But uh, that's really interesting. That means that up here would be really good for, I don't know, first thing in the spring um, getting getting plants in the ground where I wanted the ground to be like dried out early but uh, huh. well let's go see if over here is also sandy oh this is easier than digging soil pits right here it's quite gravelly but this is down the center and I kind of think that the center is like where it, it tends to be more gravelly. But this is sandy again, here. And it's this brown sand. Right? Like it's a very particular dirt. That's super interesting. 
And then over there, that's also sandy. Yeah. Huh. Well, learn something every day, I guess. Uh, what I have learned is that my upper field is sandy. And then I need to put some water in my pig bowl. And here, like, this is weird rock or clay. It's dry enough that I actually can't tell. Clay. This is like a patch of clay here. Huh. And over there too. That texture. That's clay. So I think they did fill this. Down. Um, the downslope side got filled with brown sand. Red sand. That's super interesting. Not like pure sand. But it's definitely... Um, sandy, like very porous, very loose. So interesting. Huh. It would be a great place to plant some things that might need irrigation, but uh, like fruit trees and stuff will die if they sit with their roots in the ice over winter. Oh my goodness. And we're back here. You see the ones? One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The other ones are probably in the like ruined pig house over there. Oh my goodness, that pig just spun itself into the ground. Well, we are having fun. Gosh. They've been getting weeds from my garden. Which they love. Not so much the babies. Because the babies can just go out and eat whatever they want. Hi, little one. Hi, little one. Yeah. Look at us. Oh, there's two more coming up from the field. Maybe am I counting right? This is a friendly one. The penny is being a little bit. Oh, hey, friendly one. Penny, you can't really chew on those. They're not for you. Those are my gumboots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I, ten, eleven, I think. I think that's eleven. Okay, now if I go out and sit there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at those cuties. They're tall enough to touch the electric now. But not tall enough to um, really care about it. It's not great to train them like this uh, because then they learn that they learn that the electric isn't so bad, and they're tempted to learn how to game the system rather than just respecting the electric. Penny, that's my foot. Don't eat my foot. That's friendly pig, the large friendly pig over there. That's the small friendly pig right here. Hey, miss. Okay, little one. Yeah, we need to be scratched. We need our belly rubbed. We do. We're so friendly. Mm. My goodness, I don't even know. Just too many pigs. <laughs> oh my goodness. A lot. A lot of pigs. Come on. 
I'm just trying to walk through you all without kicking anyone in the face. Is that too much to ask? Hi, friendly pig. Do you want to be scratched? No. Oh. I don't know if either you're not friendly pig and I have you mistaken for another pig or if you're just not friendly anymore. Fine. I'll just be friendly with this pig. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, Apricot. Long time no interact, hey? Oh, that baby is going to be just the same color as you. Isn't that adorable? That's pretty great. Okay, folks, I'm going to try and get myself out of this pig pen. I would definitely be better at speaking pig if I were just a little more comfortable being pushy. Hi, hooligan. Hi, little hooligan. You're growing up so much. Look at her. Are you friendly pig? Oh, you might be friendly pig actually. I may have mistaken other pig for you. You have food, all of you. There's like still food in your bin. I don't know why you're so into this. failing to leave and go look at the extremely cute piglets. Let's go look at the... Oh! Hi, Belly! Hi, Pig Belly! Oh, apparently it's just time to lie down. Hey, little ones. You're very sleepy and cute. See if I can get myself over this fence. Go check out the less sleepy and cute piglets. That's two boars having a showdown. It's baby and auxiliary boar. Which is fair. Good Avalu! That's very good. He's still trying to figure out how to interact with the piglets. Sometimes he chases them, which is very bad. Uh, and when I'm sitting down, uh, I'm trying to teach him not to come right up to me. Because uh, he'll chase them away from me because he wants my love. And uh, he does not want the piglets to have my love. Everyone gets jealous sometimes. Okay, gather up this rhubarb, which I'm going to make, I think, some syrup out of because I made this extremely good spruce tip syrup. And now I want rhubarb syrup to go with it. Hey, puppy. You're a good boy. You're very good. Yes. Oh, look at these. They're having fun. They're kind of running away from me. Yeah, I haven't spent that much time out here. I've been spending all my time in the garden. Eating some tasty grass. Yeah, I'm walking forward. There we go.